Hey, I'm Graham from Go Fast Campers. We just finished our first production unit of the GFC platform. It's on a 2018 Tacoma short bed, uh, double cab. And here's the walk around video. So the first thing we'll do is just kind of pop the top open and show you how it works. Pretty quick setup time. And there you have it. Uh, the panels on the sides are all operable, so they can all open up and they're all keyed and latched. The other side's actually locked right now, so I'll show you how that works. So, and obviously they're all keyed alike. And then the panels seal to the frame interface using bulb seals all the way around the corners. The top hinge is fully continuous. Um, it's rated for like a million cycles. It sheds water, pushes it all out. Gas springs lift it open, hold it open really easily. So this is inch and a half 065 wall DOM tube, basically meant to carry the bulk of the loading on this camper. And it really makes it the strongest off-road camper ever made. It's gonna hold up to vibration really, really well, washboard roads, you basically never have to think about it. Powder coat the lower frame using a primer and powder like a bicycle frame, so it will hold up really, really well. Um, plenty of room to allow side axis, um, so we can get in there and grab gear, store things. Aluminum panels on the outside of this that seal to the space frame. It's all 50-52 um, aluminum, really good for corrosion resistance, but we also powder coat it. Um, that helps a little bit thermally. Um, we also put a stippled texture powder on this stuff, so when you're dragging it through the trees, um, you won't see scratches on a high gloss layer and it'll really shed everything pretty well and be easy to clean. The whole camper as it sits right now weighs about 250 pounds. So the way that this camper mounts to the truck um, on these Tacomas and any bed with a track system is using these little CNC machine billet parts here. Um, basically bolts into the track and then the camper bolts into that interface. We've got a flap seal on the tailgate that comes down and rides along the top of it and sheds all the water off. Um, the way that the space frame mounts to the bed rails, we actually use a double bulb seal gasket that kind of nests around the tube on both sides and sheds water off the side. Plenty of standing room for most folks underneath this thing. Um, but still wanted to have clearance for an awning above it. Oh, hell yeah. Just make sure you get your America in there. Yeah, let me talk about America for a second. Let me, t let me tell you about America. <laughs> so the GFC platform is built almost entirely in-house. Um, we do all of our own welding, uh, plasma cutting, tube notching, uh, sewing, basically all here in America. Uh, we make a lot of billet CNC machine components all in our in-house machine shop. We also have an anodizing line here. Uh, we have our own proprietary extrusion that runs a triple T-track down the side so you can mount accessories. So basically, all built machine components, these exterior hinges are built machine. Uh, these extruded rails are powder coated. These end caps are anodized, basically mitigating any sort of corrosion, improving wear life and aesthetics. Just really, really high quality components, so no stuff to fail over time, um, no fiberglass parts to break. Um, really simple. The whole tent actually closes down and it's six inches thick. So it's the thinnest tent on the market, the thinnest overall camper height as well. So the tent material is a vinyl coated fabric. Um, a lot of it's welded and adhered in addition to a few sewn spots. That really helps with water intrusion and keeping it watertight. So the GFC platform uses a two door system, um, exterior vinyl coated fabric door, sheds water, and then an interior mesh um, that helps keep bugs out and uh, yeah, they both zip in. Uh, when they are all opened up, it gives you a really big rear door. So these forward side windows have zip up covers um, and a mesh outer screen. And they basically zip up to be closed, zip down to be opened, and when you want to fold them up, they roll up into their own little storage pocket, like so. So the next thing to talk about is the uh, Transforma Floor bed paneling system. We utilize these super lightweight panels right here using uh, fully synthetic materials, basically all composite, three inch closed cell mattress up top, and there's four individual panels. There's one forward fixed panel, two smaller squares, and then one larger rectangle. The bed panels all stow in the front, so basically all the mattresses fit up there. We've got the big rectangular panel here composite panel with some aluminum framing on it and it just stows pretty easily. A couple ways to set up this bed. Um, if you're traveling solo, you can run it in bunk mode. Basically, 
Just drop it in place. It's pretty straightforward. Mattress goes over it and plenty of room now. You could even set up a laptop here and work from it, kind of whatever you want to do. When you're sleeping too, folks, um, the setup might be a little bit different. Um, basically, we can turn this panel sideways that way and run these two at the end of the bunk. Um, that way they can be pulled out independently so your significant other or whoever you're with doesn't have to get out of their sleeping bag to allow you to get out of the vehicle. Plenty of sleeping room in here. And you can still sit up really easily without like hitting your head in the front. This translucent roof panel, which is also a composite material, lets a lot of light in. It's also naturally insulative because it has an air gap. Now that it's dark in here, we can show you the lights. Um, kind of a cool solution. Just pop them on, gives you enough light to see by, um, basically enough light to read by, but it's a diffused glow through the panel and it kind of shows that honeycomb cell. This light is dimmable, so you can basically pull the brightness down. So if you're getting ready for bed, you need to find something, you can kind of pop these on and look at it. Or if you want to kind of hang out up here in the dark, um, so I have enough light to do what you need to do. The lighting strips also have USB charge ports at the front, so you can plug your phone in up here when you're ready to go to bed. The upstairs lighting also extends into the topper area as well. Um, so pop that on, get a nice ambient glow to work by, and a couple of USB charge ports in a track just underneath the bed up there. So the roof is able to carry a lot of weight with our rack systems. We can carry 500 pounds when it's closed. So if you wanted to still use your truck as a truck and go grab some hardware, grab some lumber, whatever that straps up top, you can drive around with it down with 500 pounds on the roof. When you're storing things on the roof and wanting it to still be able to open, you can store about 100 pounds up there. So mountain bikes, storage boxes, skis, kind of whatever you need, pop it open with that on the roof and the gas springs will have no problem lifting it and holding it open. Closing this thing up is pretty straightforward. Just pull it down. Slide the pins in place. Cam to lock. So that about wraps up the GoFast Camper walkthrough video. Thanks for checking it out. And you can find more information at gofastcampers.com and reach out to us directly there. We're in full production now and shipping units. Yeah, go fast campers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I get really nervous.